Hello everybody, this is Amr Abdul Bari. Uh, I am with uh, Near East University. Uh, this is the first lecture of the Electronics 1 course. Uh, I will use Electronic Devices, 9th uh, edition by Floyd. This is a very nice and easy to understand and read uh, book and have many, many uh, uh, good figures to understand. In the chapter one, we will revise again from the uh, what is a conductor and semiconductor and uh, these materials. So let's begin. First, Bohar atom. Bohar is the name of the scientist. So this is a model that we have uh, several layers around the nucleus of the atom and he specified that every layer is named as shell and this is the nucleus of the uh, atom and every shell have its level of energy so it is it, it's a discrete energy level we call it shell now the atomic number it's an, a number specified by the number of protons in the nucleus and it's the same or equal to the number of electrons in the orbits here we name it shell so the outmost the last one the seven layer or seven the shell outmost uh, shell we call it the valence shell valence shell because it's occupying the electrons uh, that we are more interested in in electrons field so the electrons in this valence shell called valence electrons okay now let's see what is a conductor a conductor is uh, materials uh, nature have many materials like in the uh, uh, silicon, metal, copper. Now, the materials that can be classified to according to the ability of conducting electricity, moving electricity inside uh, a wire, for example. So, inside the wire, there is a material. Its characteristics, one of the main characteristics of this material, it's the ability to conduct or non-conducting uh, electricity so the val the ability to conduct uh, electricity is the ability that have an uh, electrons in the valence shell so here we have this electron in the valence shell so an ex a very good example is copper uh, which have one electron in the valence shell so it can easily leave the uh, atom and go in the uh, and make the atom positive so it can make the core it's plus one because the uh, as we know that the uh, electrons have a minus as you see here have a negative uh, charge so when the neg one negative charge leave the atom so the positive charge at the uh, nucleus is more by one than the number of electrons so number of a high number of electrons in the outer shell of elect, uh, atoms uh, copper atoms this is what makes the electricity well, this is what conduct electricity in the copper uh, wire okay so metals of course the same and other uh, materials that we name it as conductors on the other hand, there is another type of uh, materials, we call it insulators. This is what we use to cover electric, uh, the wire, for example. We cover normally, you see the wire, inside there is copper and from outside there is uh, some kind of plastics or polymers. This is insulators. Why? Insulators like uh, glass, air, paper rubber 
why it is insulator because it insulate the electrons to move inside the material so no uh, electricity no electricity coming from one side to another side this is a very excellent uh, application to uh, make it uh, the electricity safe for the human being and make other application okay now there is the third type of uh, material semiconductors now we have conductors we have insulators we have semiconductors semiconductors it is from the name it is conductors but it have some characteristics to make or something to uh, should be happen so it conduct electricity now let's see the details for from the conductors you see that there is one or two or three uh, electron in the outer shell so because if you remember from physics it should be eight so here we have four so four and uh, if they leave the uh, the atom then they, it will be positive four so a, they can make bounds bonds with at another atom so if we have one atom here and it have four other uh, atoms then it will uh, complete the outer shell then it there is no one electron we have we want one free electron to move from outside to uh, make some electricity so here we have all of them from the same uh, uh, material cobalt so they make a strong uh, cobalt, cobalt uh, bonds shared electrons they share electrons with other uh, atoms so they are poor conductors so now let's see in silicon we have here uh, energy in the from the energy uh, uh, perspective we have a valence band and we have a conduction band so to make it conduct to make this conduct to make the electron leave this place they have to take more energy normally heat energy some semiconductor take uh, sunlight for example this is what make uh, the solar cells so here we have some energy from this uh, level to this level so the electron leave the valence band and go to the conduction band and be a free electrons so there is an energy gap between these bands we know we name the place that the electron go to outside to above if there is a heat uh, so uh, or uh, or electricity or uh, solar or uh, so, uh, so this is uh, the energy that give the electron the uh, enough energy to cross this energy gap and go to the conduction band one electron leave something here we call it hole so the electron leave the uh, the parent atom and leave with positive charge we call it hole okay so this is an electron and this is hole so this is the electron hole bears if the electron uh, this card or for example the heat go from it they leave it in or take it in the another uh, electron if they uh, make an accident for example uh, I give examples for course so the electron uh, doesn't have the enough energy to be in the conduction band what's happening it return back again to the valence band so it return back again to the valence band where its energy is uh, in the same level of the valence band so it return back to nothing it doesn't return back to nothing it search for something positive it search for something we call it whole so 
this is the bear the electron leave its place to the conduction band which here leave a hole or this hole will be filled with another electron that leave the conduction band and return back to the valence band okay this is very easy this is of course happened uh, many many times in the crystal structure uh, of the uh, uh, millions of uh, atoms inside the wire so they move up down up down up down very fast but we here uh, uh, i uh, describe it so you can understand what's happening now within the crystal within the crystal of the atom there is two type of the charge movement okay as i said the conduction band electrons are free to move from one atom to another atom to jump but of course there is something called electric field this is what's a, a influence the electrons to go from one place to another place there is another type of movement the bound electrons move between atoms so efficiently moving holes from one atom to another so here one atom go from here to here from this place to this place they jump from one hole to another from one hole to another and there is some electrons move very uh, freely in the conduction band this is the two type of movements the first one in the conduction band the second one in the valence band they go in the conduction band from one place to one place it's a uh, free to move there is no uh, uh, holes to fill however there is holes already in the uh, valence band because of the some electrons leave it uh, because of the uh, electricity or the heat or the uh, or the uh, uh, electromagnetic field so this is the uh, movement inside the valence band now let's see something else I will remove one of the uh, atoms and put another type of uh, material so it makes this uh, all of them will uh, make bounds bonding each other and there is some electrons free of charge this is what makes the conduction this is what we interest on okay so here we take antimony antimony this is a different material that we put it in within a four uh, silicon atoms so the silicon atoms have four uh, uh, electrons in the valence band each one have four and this is have of course one here this is, each one of them will uh, uh, share it with uh, one atom of silicon and there is still one atom free so it will leave because here this is make uh, eight so eight is the balance for the atom to to uh, reach the stability and we have now a one free uh, electron that go free without any bond to the parent uh, atom or each uh, another atom that will uh, so it will go freely in the conduction band okay which will make the uh, foundation for the electricity okay that's what i'm speaking about so we name this material as in material in material because there is in here uh, electrons more electrons uh, that leave the uh, uh, the valence band of the atoms okay now let's see another type or let's see the equation here where on that periodic table would you expect to find another element yeah, another material that could be used as an impurity to create an n material so here we use antimony let's see i want another material that leave two electrons for example if you remember from the chemistry in the periodic table you will see that all of that same column 
the element above or below sp will have the same valence electron structure so all of them will leave one or two electrons and make the bound with other uh, electron with the silicon of course now let's see impurity if i make it non-pure uh, silicon and make some injection with boron for example boron it is different here now so it will fill up all of the uh, uh, make the conduction uh, or bond with the silicon and with one of the silicon atom there is a place that can't fill so it will leave a hole this is also uh, will make a material of many holes so the B in material here will make in material with many electrons B material in the other side will make a material will make a structure impure of course because it's not purely uh, silicon we inject some uh, porn uh, or P uh, atoms so here we have uh, if we use different materials as was speak before in the porn in the same uh, periodic table up or down we will have different P and N material levels with energy levels because by different material different level so you will have different materials p or n materials okay okay now why i do that here i have a material with many holes and n material with many electrons free electrons okay now let's put both of them behind each other b material and n material together to form the BN junction so I have here B material or B region N material or N region N region have many electrons free electrons is a very minor minority is the uh, holes and here B region is have uh, have uh, has uh, many holes and very uh, minority is the electrons okay free electrons now let's see what's happening if you just put both of them behind each other in the uh, line between them will happen something uh, the electrons here here in this side will see that there is holes in this side so they will move from this side to this side some electrons will move until the electrons here will have the same charge or the same potential as this side so they will stop so we will have a, a region and third or different region other than n and b regions we will have depletion region this is creating this process creating a very thin layer or very thin region between the b region and n region we call it a depletion region which is a boundary which is have also uh, a number for the potential so this potential have to be crossed in order to move a different uh, electrons from here to the other side so the question what is the process that stop the immigration or the migration of, of the charge from here to here this is what we call a barrier potential there is a potential here so the electron doesn't move uh, for free they move if they see uh, a charge as i said before the electricity move if there is a put in low potential and high potential so they, like in the weather the wind move from low from high pressure to low pressure if they the same or there is th something in between for example there is um, a, a, a mountain a very high mountain so it prevent this uh, wind to come from this uh, side to the other side okay until they are very high in the bar very very there is very 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 uh, difference in the uh, pressure then they will move okay now 
let's see here the energy diagram for n region show a lower potential than the b region so here the n region here the b region so the invalence band and the conduction band if you remember i have the valence band i have here some very low number of uh, holds high number of uh, electrons here very high number of uh, holds here very low number of electrons okay so here what's happening in the dep uh, depletion they migrate from this side to this side until there is a potential so they have uh, to very high potential to come across okay now why do you think that the energy level in the n region is lower than you see here there's they are not in the same level of the energy this is the energy uh, level so why they are not in the same level the the same materials because the n region material ha tend to fill the valence shell and uh, the materials uh, the the, uh, the original material tend to fill it so they are very close very far away from the uh, nucleus of their uh, atoms so they have a low bound with the atoms so they are far away of from the nucleus and they have less energy now i have a question which may be arising in why the electrons from this side they don't come to this side from above level to low level so they have the energy why they can't return back to the balance band why they have to cross this uh, uh, bond okay so this is uh, a question to think about and uh, and uh, answer it okay now diodes it's a device that use a single B in junction here this junction we call it uh, a BN B in junction here the electrons the uh, a device used one B in junction call it a diode this device is a metal and the metal connection from outside from this side and this side okay and b in junction here and this is the depletion region it has the ability to move the currents in one side in one direction either in one, this side or this side so we have for the uh, uh, diode forward bias if we make a potential from outside high number of potential so the electron have to move and cross the barrier level so they will move from this side and go to this side so the electrons cross after something after they uh, achieve the barrier so here in this uh, uh, diagram you see here this is the current I F I forward and this is the voltage V forward and here if it is zero then nothing happened the barrier will uh, stop everything if it is 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 point, the potential is less than the uh, barrier potential so the electron can uh, come across and go to the B in uh, the, to the uh, holes from the on the uh, B material so they stop again until one place here a knee until here 0 0.7 remember this number until this point they cannot come across and after that they go normally like a uh, resistance so they go up normally okay what about if we make the uh, electricity from this side so this is the reverse piles so if it is at zero and return back 
return back from this side at zero it is zero at minus one minus two minus three minus four minus 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 one hundred minus two hundred so at very large reverse in the reverse bias at very large uh, voltage they come across the the barrier uh, will break but this is we call it breakthrough this is will this uh, uh, will uh, make the diode uh, burn so the diode will not work again so there is no reverse back so it can't uh, reverse back from this side so it is like a, a, a value for uh, discharging or making the uh, diode uh, not working again okay so this is the uh, reverse now why from the reverse side why it, it, it is not uh, the same this is the other question I ask it today in this lecture why I can't make it a uh, why it's like no, not like this at the uh, to, uh, and why we can't return back Okay. Now we have an approximation for the diode. If, for example, the ideal it is at zero, it will go up. At zero, there is no uh, any uh, barrier or any resistance, and the, at at zero it will go up, and at minus zero it will be zero. Minus one, minus two, minus three, it's zero. Okay. But in practical, at zero point seven it will go up. And in a complete uh, and practical one, it is not going up directly. As you increase the voltage, it increases in the current. Okay. So here, why we do, didn't uh, uh, plot the uh, breakthrough because it's supposed to be at hundreds of voltage so it's not very easy to uh, reach this side but it is it reach when there is a, a problem in your circuit for example okay now use this practical model to determine the current in the circuit this is an example we have here the voltage 12 we have here the current uh, the resistance 3.3 kilo uh, so the solution here I know that the barrier it is 0.7 so the voltage that I come across this resistance VR it is the V bias minus 0.7 so it is 11.3 so the, the current that come across here it is VR over R so you can calculate it very easily 3.4 milliampere now there is a uh, different uh, configuration different shape uh, in the uh, market of the diodes as you see and finally in the summary I speak today about the electrons it is a negative charge in the basic uh, uh, particle or the basics of the uh, atoms the valence is related to the outer shell of the atom the last one the seven layer a free electron it's the electron that have the enough energy to be in the leave the valence band and be and we call it conduction electron or free electron a conductor material that is a conducting electricity insulator it doesn't conduct anything doesn't conduct a current doesn't move any electrons inside a semiconductor it's a material where lie between the conductor and the insulator based on its characteristics or conductive properties a crystal is the solid material where the atoms are arranged in a symmetrical pattern okay a hole so the crystal we when I speak about removing some uh, silicon and putting in boron for example this is what we call and uh, construct a crystal a hole this where the situation where the electron leave a positive charge we call it a hole in the crystal a diode is a device that's uh, made up of from a B material and N material which making a B N junction and it's conducting the currency in one direction B N junction is a boundary or a junction between two different 
types of material of semiconductors. A barrier potential is the potential that we have to cross in order to make a full conduction in the P-N junction. A forward bias is the conduction or the condition where the diode conduct the current. A reverse is where the diode prevent the current. It nothing happen in the diode. Okay. Now this is for the quiz. Now I uh, I finished uh, the uh, uh, the lecture. Next week we will speak about more in the chapter two in about the diodes. Thank you uh, for listening.